Yeah, real good son. Yeah, I just love days like this. 10 for 10 sun. Making some serious power on my three arrays here in the backyard. You know, when I got back from Arkansas on Sunday, it froze while I was gone and lost most of my tropicals back here. I trimmed that before I left. But as you can see, on these banana trees are already poking out about a couple inches there. Looks like they're coming back. All right, let's go here in the garage. And one thing I'm definitely... Well, I ordered already is some Tiger step bars for this truck because Buddy and I were in and out of this truck while we were on the road and in Arkansas. So, kind of a pain in the butt when you got short legs, I guess. But it'll look good. I'll do that probably this weekend. Right, let's go over here and I'll show you my solar stuff and specifically the lithiums, kilovolts down there. Custom made box. Everything is working good. You know, I left this system on for four days while I was gone. And no issues whatsoever. And I could monitor it while I was on the road with the Outback Power Optics RE. But as you can see, I'm already pulling in over 4,000 watts. Remember how I rewired that pergola array? About 78% rated power there. About 59% rated power there. And about the same for the main array about 79% you know, rated power kicking some booty digging it digging it digging it little fan control there battery temp sense right there system voltage just about at a hundred percent state of charge all the voltages are looking good within about yeah two one hundredths of a volt <laughs> These lithiums are, you know, they kind of sort themselves out a little bit. And here it is with the battery box shroud enclosure tilted forward. I just essentially just lean it forward and set it down. 12 volt computer fan, basically, five and a quarter inch, just sucking some air out of the house into the box there. Works perfectly. Don't need a lot those pure copper bars underneath that little black rubber deal there I just put that in there for protection and as you can see all the I don't know how to describe this all the meters for each individual battery have their own fuse at the source down there for the battery let me show you the 12 volt stuff right there a little buck converter from 24 volts down to 12 and a fuse block I like having a fuse and circuit breakers. Let's go in here into the DC disco box, disconnect box. Let me show you a couple things. This thing has been awesome, 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 awesome. But while I was in here, guess what's not working? This little 5 volt USB blower fan I have for those circuit breakers right there, which are Carling. Breakers, so I had to. Luckily, I had a spare one. I just want to show you how I put it together there. Kind of jerry rig, but works real good. Just put it in right there. Throw the wire through that hole right there. Connects up to the USB extension right up there. I put some HVAC tape for the USB wire right there on the side, and got that dog all fired up, rocking and rolling again. It's just a little bit of air cooling for this DC disco box, especially those switches right there for the midnights. They get a little warm, especially when you're you know cranking 4,000 watts through them. Well, not each of them, but you get the idea. And you've got some spare circuit breakers there. So, yeah, these four kilovolt lithium batteries are working out great. Seriously, drama free. And this is a typical day that I've been seeing from my Optics RE screenshot here. 100% on solar and battery. Alright guys, hey, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.